Oh my god! Oh my Welcome back to my channel! Today's video is going to be really exciting because it's going to be a vlog and we're going to decorate. I just wanted to curl my lashes before I left the house, but as I do that, like, are you guys excited for the holidays? 2023 flew by. I am celebrating the holidays for the first time here in Los Angeles in my new house. And it needs decorating because I had an apartment before and I had pretty much all the things, furniture, holiday decor for the apartment. But now that I have a house, like I need a little bit more decorations to kind of fill the space. I don't want to spend crazy money, but I'm going to show you guys a cool couple different spots. I'm going to take you to lunch with me. It's going to be pretty much a vlog with my mom and I because my dad went home to Orlando. My brother just came from London and is back in Orlando. My other brother, Paul. Peter, I don't know where he is. He was out the club it's just me and my mom today so it's a it's gonna be a mama star and patrick star bonding day our friend danica who is on my social media team will be showing us the secret hidden spots here in los angeles to find holiday decor at a price i know a lot of you guys don't live in the los angeles area but if you do or if you are visiting and you have friends or family tip them off to this video and you can get into it because i'm sure my friend Danica will show the best spots and I thought it'd be a nice day uh, to catch up with you guys. So without further ado, let's just go meet Mama Star and jump into this vlog and happy holidays. <laughs> wow. Ooh, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my bedroom for the first time. When I moved in this house, I was like, do I wanna show them my bedroom? But since this is a decorating vlog, do you guys wanna see me decorate my room? I know the curtains look very short, but the pole <laughs> was there. You could see like the little holes and they were like touching the floor, but the ceilings are so high. I wanted like a grand moment. And I have this beautiful chandelier in the room. Do you guys wanna see me pick curtains and choose bedding because I picked bedding. I saw something on Pinterest. I don't know if this was the vibe, but I think it'll be a cute video. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And yes, that is my MAC cosmetic sign. And this is like a recliner from Peter's room. So I'm just like trying to repurpose and save money at the same time. But damn, my lashes are, wow. My mom is here. We're getting ready for Christmas uh, yeah. decorations. Yes, she's going to talk to you guys in the vlog really quick. I left my sweater and my turban. So I'll be right back while she talks to you. <gasps> Patrick's out, so make it quick, make it short. I'm so excited to get more decorations for Christmas for on top of what Patrick already have. It's his first time uh, celebrating Christmas here in LA because we usually spend Christmas Eve at our house in Orlando. This is gonna be different. I look forward to having a great Christmas this year and in the years to come okay guys so before i leave yes i am using a selfie stick this is my christmas tree it's right next to the fireplace and these are all my decorations so far and i know you guys are probably like there are so many bins of decorations but you have to see i have like a uh, red and I have gold, silver, and white. I think because my living room space and kitchen is like a little bit larger than my apartment from before, I kind of want to go with the gold and white theme. Keep it pretty neutral. I want to put like garland on the stairs back there. I don't have a mantle, so I really can't do that. But I have like a table over here that I kind of want to decorate. By the way, this couch right here, I broke it on Halloween. I was sitting here trying to take pictures of my friend posing on the counter and it broke. Um, what's wrong with shopping for more decor, right? Tis the season. Hey, this is Jesse. Shot some campaigns for us. We're doing a little bit of holiday decor. Christmas shopping. There's the bitches. There they are. This is Danica. <laughs> we only have like literally 30 minutes to shop. Danica, so tell them about Moscatels. So Moscatels, basically this is where 
you get all the Michaels and stuff, don't go to Michaels. Come here to downtown to Moss Patels because they have everything and all the Christmas decorations, all the different trees. And then this is just only one part. There's another part of it there. Oh, shoot. And everything's on sale right now up to like 70% off. Oh my God, look at these. Look at the gold tree. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at uh, the big Santa climbing. Oh my God. <laughs> House. Peter's trade going to his room like. <laughs> and <laughs> my God. Oh, I think oh, my. Oh, I need one. I need a big one. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. How much is this? Oh my God. Danica, look for the office. Oh my. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my. God. I oh my guys, I'm there's too much. I think Mosca tells me their own vlog. I would rate this um insane out of ten. Insane out of ten. I think I'm gonna have to freaking come back. Excuse me, sir. Oh my god, guys. There's a budget. You can only spend a hundred dollars. Oh, that's this is the credit. Only a hundred dollars? Only a hundred. That's not even one ornament. I guess we're gonna have to return some things. Remember, we're on a hundred dollar budget today. <gasps> That's cute. Oh my god. We wear that to the rave. Have you done that before? No. Yes, we've done it. Really? You need a polar bear? Have you seen that? I have, <laughs> <a> <laughs> I have that at home. You have this at home? I squeeze it on the top. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> Danica! What? Do you want a polar bear? bear? <laughs> I think it's a cute size. That's what out of budget. Okay. I'm gonna come back with Danica. <laughs> <gasps> it's Beyonce themed Christmas. <laughs> Where is he going? Come on, look, guys, you got it. Almost there, almost at the bottom. <laughs> almost there. I you're struggling. You're fine, Santa. Peter, look at Santa's list. <laughs> Peter closing in five minutes. They close when I say they close. Nope, the time is now 2.55. Nope. The store will be closing in five minutes. Last night, Peter and Fabian gifted me tickets to Mariah Carey. So I, I took my mom to see Mariah Carey and I've never seen Mariah Carey in a holiday. So that's been like a very, very big goal and dream of mine to see her in her Christmas life. element. Thank you to Peter and Fabian for doing that, for setting the tone for Christmas shopping. Cause I think that's why I'm going a little bit all out because I saw the queen of Christmas. All right guys, we are back in the car. Moscatels was a huge hit. We cleared out a lot. I would say if you guys have an area where there's like a downtown or warehouse area, just look up around you and i feel like the best way to find these places are through the internet you're finding them through people's vlogs you're finding them through tiktok so i think it's really cool that you get to find places like this through channels like mine or other people that love to decorate we're gonna go to aldic next aldic 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 is where the kardashians like to shop too i spent a lot of money there last year for my parents christmas tree and it was like all red and peppermint vibes just for our vlog's sake we're just gonna go there just to see what i love about moscatels is that everything was like 40 and 50 percent off which was crazy aldic unfortunately is like a full price place but i thought it'd be really cool to show you aldic and then after that we'll head home and then hopefully either tonight or tomorrow we'll start decorating have you been here mom no i'm excited to see what's inside you love christmas yes and i favorite. love christmas <laughs> but this is where chris jenner goes <gasps> oh, and man. kim and they always compete who has the better theme you ready oh my gosh <gasps> look at the trees oh my gosh this is my theme right here this is my theme. See, I love it because you could see all of the gorgeous Christmasness. There is so much Christmas thrown up in here. Wow. How cute is this theme? This is like black, white, and red. It's actually a cool twist. I do not know about this little thing right here. Okay, guys, there is a 20% on ornaments, ribbons, stems, angels, tree skirts, holiday decor, and select Santas. This is my basket. I think it's kind of plain and basic, but Amazon, ooh, it's hard to find these online. So I'm just gonna have them here, just because Thanksgiving is this weekend. It's lit up on inside. 
There are beautiful ornaments like this. And they're glass. This whole palette is glass. Look at this one right here. It's like iridescent and everything. I just hope that my tree looks pretty this year. I almost made the wrong mistake of getting white, but if you're shopping for like a theme with white, be aware of the type of white because I almost picked like a gray white. I wanted like a warm white and I know Amazon is a great resource for shopping, but it's just something about seeing the ornaments in store that make it like, you know, slap harder. I want to ask you like, what is your take on a classic like what if you were investing in ornaments what style of christmas would you go to every year i think mine is like the neutrals golds whites mixed with silver so it's like i guess gold silver abundance to me i asked jose and he was saying he would go for like a red and white which is his version of classic but look at this white winter wonderland. I think a white Christmas definitely qualifies for a classic traditional Christmas. Oh my God, look at this huge ornament. Oh my God. Guys, I just unpacked my car. Look at this ornament that I got at Aldic. I think this was so freaking worth it. It looks plain, right? But I saw it like wedged inside of a tree and you plug it in. There was about like four of them. It looks like an, a memory orb from Pixar or something. It just looks so gorgeous with the pattern. This is definitely going on my tree. I had unloaded with Peter and Jose all of the stuff. And now we are actually watching Miss Universe. So we're taking a little break. I really think that Miss Thailand's gonna win. And shout out to Avani Gray for being a judge. Okay, she's all the way in El Salvador. The new Miss Universe. Nicaragua! Thailand! Thailand! Oh my gosh! Woo! Nicaragua! Oh! <laughs> Good morning, guys! Good morning. It is the end of the next day. We did not decorate yet, but look at what I found. I am so excited about this because these are battery operated garlands you know growing up there was always like cords everywhere but i saw this as an option on amazon and you just put in batteries because my staircase there's no outlet i got six of these so that way i could put them on both and then also on that upstairs one that is the perfect like do you see how it's dangling on the floor this garland is by home karen i'll link it down below on amazon so we are going <laughs> to return some of the balls. Remember how I was saying at Aldic yesterday how there was some white balls that were warm white and cool white? Remember how I went to Moscatel's and it got a little bit crazy happy? Let me show you what happened. Okay, so these are the balls in question. They're white. These were $35 each and they're white, but then look at these that I found at Aldic. They're like, like, a, like an eggshell. This is like more my vibe that I'm going for. Do you see the vibes? I'm gonna go and return this. I think I'm gonna return this bright gold, but look at this sh soft champagne gold. Guys, look at my color palette. The house is like modern-ish. So I wanna stick to this like theme here. Do you guys see the chandelier? It's like gold. And then I have my shelves. They're gold. I was gonna replace them with like wooden shelves, but I'm like, this is like the vibes, right? Let's go to Moscatel's, because yesterday we only had one hour of shopping and that was literally not the move, you guys. I am here in Moscatel's and my mom and I already started another cart. I found these styrofoam letters and look, they have like every single freaking number that you can think of and every type of shape. I was trying to like imagine one size and I don't know, do I glue candy on it? Artificial flowers, but I think it's like so cool. I was just like using my imagination. I like used to love coming to the craft store when I was younger because I don't know, it's just like getting my imagination going, thinking of endless possibilities. It's just really, really cool. Look at the car, look at the car, guys. We decided to deck out the chandelier. So hopefully our choices make a little bit more sense. She's making me take pictures of her here. Santa, Look at the freaking cart. I made sure to bring the selfie stick today. And we're gonna go ahead and check out and I'll see you guys at home so we can start decorating. And you guys have been waiting to see all the chaos of our shopping put into action. So, we are getting this mirror that has been in this garage. The previous owner left this. I'm unscrewing everything. I'm gonna move the mirror by myself. And the mirror is gonna go 
right here. This is where the previous owner had the mirror. And I was like, do I want like a small mirror? Do I want a square mirror? And I was like, you know what? I don't need to waste no money. That mirror has been sitting there and it was pretty much custom made to be here. So I was like, you know what? Let's just put it back. You know what? How about you dress up as a nutcracker and stand there? Let me see the vision. And then Jose. day. Well, like this. Hmm. I think it looks cute. I'm gonna have you stand there the whole time. Exactly. Yeah. Look at these nutcrackers. I'm gonna spend no money. I want to save money on getting a tree. We'll just have to make do. And what I like is that these giant balls can kind of serve as like, you know, corn mask down here. You know what we need? We need to get big boxes like presents and then kind of like cover the bottom. I'm gonna kind of cover this area. By the way, you guys, I have been very inspired by Jenna Loves Christmas. I've been watching a lot of her, her videos. I will have her videos suggested in the link below and also on the video so you guys can click on her videos and see because she is so, such good advice on decorating for the holidays. Oh my God, how's that look? Oh, nice. like it's on high waters because I did not want to buy a big tree so but do you guys see the vision it's cute and we'll just add gifts underneath it's all about saving money this year you know what I'm saying over here I'm gonna try to add the chandelier garland situation and that's why I wanted to reserve some ornaments it looks like a lot but then again the spot is huge and now that they have the mirror up there I kind of want to put a garland up there because I bought enough hopefully it's turning out good. Do you like the color scheme so far? I think it's cute. It's a little hodgepodge, but it's like mixing past decor with some new. I'm obsessed with this, by the way. Obsessed. All right, guys. So these I got from Moscatel's from earlier. And look, these are regular garland that doesn't have any lights just because it's on a dining table. And these have some pine cone and some white berries and it has some flocking, AKA snow. So with the help of two very lightweight feathers, they're gonna fly up there and help me hang them. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> oh my gosh guys it looks so cute we added the garland and we added the pics and they're not earrings young lady look it's a nice one for earrings i like it it's giving winter wonderland i think it needs a touch of gold because we like got rid of the gold so we're gonna add some like gold picks but jose and pa added little head wig up top and it's giving like hotel pinterest fantasy so far the tree is done little high waters christmas tree and then the uh, chandelier next we are going to do the stairs and then if we have leftovers i'll do the mirror remember i showed you guys the battery operated lights there's nine settings six seven eight on number eight setting, it's just steady lighting. And this is the battery pack right here. It requires double A batteries. We're gonna go ahead and fluff this and attach it on this first railing with zip ties. And these ones are, I believe, 14 inches long. And I want it to cascade down the hagdan and down the stairs. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and you guys enjoy. And don't mind the mess back there. If you guys haven't seen Gina Loves Christmas, like I mentioned earlier, she does the bows. So she'll start with bows and then big objects and then picks and then final touches with like ornaments. And believe it or not, ornaments, I think to me go last. So that way you can get like the nice gist of the silhouette. Now it's on, I'm gonna go ahead and add the ribbon. This one is a sparkly glittery ribbon and it's gonna tie in really well with the other theme. So let me do like one, two loops and I pre-cut some like floral wire to get that motif and gonna add it on <laughs> <laughs> look how full it looks i have these like individual like picks that were green and then these i got like four or five years ago i think at a random craft store i think it was like pier one so it comes with it's pretty much a pick that you can put in right but i feel well this was by accident i actually took it out you guys see i'm pulling it out of the stem and i have an individual pick and now i have not one not two but i have 
three individual picks. And what I'm doing, I am sticking it in right here. I'm just hooking it on. And I think in terms of fullness, I'm only doing it where the eye is gonna be the most. So since the stairs are facing the living room and the kitchen, I'm trying to make it like full in that direction. If you want like a statement piece right here, I'm probably gonna insert one here. So it looks like this is like more of a focal point in the garland. Like it's just spilling out holiday spirit. Okay guys, so we did the tree, we did the chandelier, we did the stairs, and last but not least, I have about four garlands left. I have a few picks left and a few ornaments. So I think we're gonna do one, two, and three, and decorate this mirror. So let's go. guys it is the next day happy holidays i feel like it's the holiday vibes now you guys are gonna be so excited so you guys thought we did the tree the chandelier the dining chandelier the mirror that was a mission and the staircase so it's just like four little areas but i think they're spread out enough to make it feel like a christmas vibe and i am standing right in front of our bar this is one area that i should have decorated more holiday i could probably do that you know, in another vlog. Do you guys remember these? These from my, my Beyonce video. This, you guys are probably wondering, what is this? Just want, have to shout this out. This is from the company Doppel, where they create a 3D scan of you, and you can take a picture. And this is me, Peter, and Paul. My mom and dad saw this, and they were like, we want one. You can fit up to three people per scan, and then just add the whole family. So I'll probably have my mom and dad do one, but how cute. So without further ado, let me reveal the decor. All right, you guys, so starting with the staircase, this literally reminds me of my home in Orlando with the gold. The flocking branches that we bought were such a good addition because you'll see later, it ties literally everything together. So I wanted like this beautiful garland cascading on the staircase. I bought some newer, nude-ish kind of ornaments to mix in with my current ornaments that I already own, like these gold little tendrils here and these silver and patterned ones and all my gold existing ones. My mom really wanted what she loves calling a statement piece. So she got these ornaments with these beautiful crystal and glitters down here. What was most important to me was like the proportions and the fullness. You guys know I just love creating proportions, whether that be on my makeup or on my outfits my turbans to make everything look seamless and balanced. Here's a little trick. Because you're gonna see the staircase mainly from this side, there is barely any decoration on this side because you're not really gonna see it from over there. That's where the majority, I, I didn't want to waste ornaments and spend more money on ornaments. That was gonna be on this side. Same for this side. All the decorations are facing this way. So from there, it looks very, very full. And that is the staircase. And this right here is what sets my mood every time I go downstairs or go upstairs for the holiday season. So this one, I am so excited to show you. Look at how stunning the mirror came out. I had it in time for Thanksgiving and family and friends came over and everyone was like, what the hell, you had this mirror the whole time? It just looks like a freaking hotel. I've worked with party and event planners before, like Ludeen, events and design. And one of my friends, a few of my friends were like, did Ludeen do this? No, Patrick Peter Paul, Mom Star and Jose did this too and my dad was pretty shocked too because look at these you have the different textures you have the flocking we hairsprayed everything which is a good tip and trick for you guys out there and it looks really really pretty and we plopped on some little winter presents up top i think my favorite part about this right here is these little tendrils of crystals of icicle crystals that hang from these gold branches because in the mirror it looks like there's actually more. There are four garlands. <coughs> it's really, really pretty and twinkly and glowy. And it reminds me of bringing the outside indoors. I love it. And it's great for selfies. You guys, this was such a surprise addition to the decor. I was not really planning 
on adding decor to this until I saw this picture on Pinterest. I put like, again, the few garlands, some icicles, and literally my vision came to life. I think the flocking elements, like flocking, like the snowing leaves, make it look like these crystals just like melted and froze into place. And if you guys can see up here, we added those same branches. And again, it's the same with the motif. I don't know if you guys remember, but we added a little head wig up there to make it look like he's hiding in the branches. But I think the drama of the twigs which we snap, like you see these little tweets right here? Me and Jose, we would take these. These are like leftovers from last year. We would like snap them and kind of fit them because they come kind of long. So far, which one is your favorite? The stairs, the mirror, or the dining table? But don't make your vote just yet because I have to show you guys the tree. <laughs> All right guys, this is the Christmas tree. It is literally sitting in the corner of my living room. Do you remember how short the tree was? It was giving what I called the high water tree. There is little container boxes and bins. So me and my mom, actually my mom did everything. Mama Star wrapped all these gifts and made them super fancy. And then we had some extra ornaments and we put them on garland and we strung it around. But all the gifts, literally hide the height of the tree. I think that's the most important because I don't want to spend another five or eight hundred dollars on like the Home Depot tree or the Costco tree to have the freaking lights. But I think it's really, really pretty and I got a new star and at night it twinkles so freaking bright. What I love is the color theme. I love the size. I love how opulent it looks with all the little picks and the snowy picks and everything. And also these gigantic ornaments that I got from Moscatels. Funny story guys, at Moscatels, I wanted to return, I think like seven of the ornaments, th these large ones. And I think they were like $36 each. So then I went to return them and then they go, oh, we actually only charged you $3.40 instead of $34 per ornament. So we're only gonna refund you $26 for all seven or eight of these. I should have freaking kept them and spray painted them. I hope you guys love this hectic vlog of decorating with me. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, comment down below. I hope you guys have the most wonderful holiday season. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much and hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. Ang galing galing ng mga assistant mo. You have very good elves. Very good. Which one's your favorite? The mama star. Wait, dad, which one's your favorite? This one is my favorite. Second is the tree. Oh, she's a big tree. You're on my side. My tree, I work hard. You on worked that. on all of them. Okay, mom's yes. tree. Peter, which one's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is probably the mirror. The mirror, despite your asthma. I think I love the mirror, you guys. All right, guys, we're gonna be looking at a new office. Paul, what's your favorite? Uh, the tree. The tree? You like the tree? I love the tree, too. I love the tree. Looks good. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.